kakaibang experience na naman ang dadalhin ko sa inyo today. Dahil today, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang Hanoi trip namin ng friend kong si Jaja. So, nag-ikot-ikot kami sa iba't ibang mga streets in Hanoi sa Old Quarter at tinikman ng iba't ibang mga pagkain. At namili ng kung ano-ano doon sa Hanoi. Ano nga ba ang pwede nating makita sa Hanoi, Vietnam? Samahan nyo ako sa episode na to at tikman natin ang iba't ibang mga pagkain in Hanoi. Watch this video para malaman nyo bakit ganito na lang ang reaction ko. I love this experience. Ang sarap. Hello! It's so good! At kung ano nagpasabi sa akin na uh, It's not for me. So, chaotic dito. <laughs> Di mo alam kung sinong babangga sa'yo. Pero masaya naman ang energy. D goes to Hanoi. Remember to like and subscribe. Ayan, nandito na tayo sa street. No? Papunta ng old quarter. So sa gabi, ganito yung itsura niya. Alive na alive. Oh. Mga 6pm to ng gabi, papunta kami sa Banmi 25 for our dinner on our first night. This is the night scene in Hanoi right now. Look at the building. Yeah, so I've seen this in videos as well. It's nice to see it in person. The energy is so different here. Look. Yay! We are figuring out how to go to Ban Mi 25, which is one of the uh, most popular Ban Mi places here in the Old Quarter area. But look at the cute! From our hotel, it's around 15 to 18 minute walk. Kahit na medyo matagal yung walk, okay lang. Hindi naman namin napansin kasi ang ganda ng mga makikita mo mga tinda dun sa gilid-gilid. Para siyang magandang divisorya. Good. I'm gonna check out some bags later. Look at these. Some souvenirs. And then stuff toys on the other side. And... Woo! There's a vegetable. While walking at the old quarters, you're also gonna see different kinds of shops and restaurants and cafes. Um, kakaibang experience talaga siya. Tapos may mga motor dun sa gilid mo. We have reached our destination. We're now in Bang May 25. So there's a very nice table for us. Ban Mi 25 is hard to miss kasi magkatapatan lang siya. Parehong Ban Mi 25. We ordered the vegetarian Ban Mi and what do you call this, Jack? Another vegetarian food that we don't know but it looks good. Yeah. We wanted to try the two kinds of vegetarian Ban Mi so we ordered the Ban Mi Chow and then you dip that baguette in the Ban Mi Chow and that's the Ban Mi Kip. Cheese, egg cheese, and mushroom. And then I ordered watermelon shake. Yay! So I think it's a difference. It's just a difference of um, is it inside the bread or outside the bread. So this one is outside the bread. It's chow. And this one is inside the bread. Yeah. I'm gonna eat it now. Nam nam na nam nam ko talaga yung ban mi na yan sa sarap. Ano tayo naghati? Dito ah. Meron siyang it has coriander. I don't eat coriander. Mm -hmm. have, I know. They asked me they asked if they should keep the coriander. I said yes. I forgot. So kasalanan ko yun because they ask you what to put before they serve it to you and they said do you want it with coriander? I said okay. Pero hindi ko pala gusto yun. Pero masarap pa rin naman. Ito na, titikman na natin yung chow. So the chow is made of tofu, king oyster mushroom, tapos shiitake mushroom. Tapos dinip namin yung baguette dun sa loob nun. Ang sarap niya. It's really good also. Uh, my preference is the regular banh mi. But this one is also good if you want na um, the bread is just on the side. Sobrang sarap nung banh mi, Kep. Umorder kami ng isa pa. Kaya lang hindi na dumating. Kasi nagsara na sila and medyo late na kaming nakarating dun sa banh mi 25. Kakaikot namin sa old quarter. So... Bumalik ako niyan sa last day ko para uwian yung anak ko tsaka yung partner ko ng ban mi. Kep, dahil ang sarap talaga niya. Sobrang dami ng tao dito sa street market, dito sa may old quarter. Parang most of them are not really tourists, they are locals. So, pasyalan din yata siya ng mga Vietnamese here in um, Hanoi. Kasi ang cute, guys, look at that! 
Usually pag umaga, may mga dumadaan dito mga motorcycles and mga cars. Pero sa gabi, sinasara nila. Look at that. May mga street food na ganyan. And ito yung bridge sa One Kiam Lake. Easiest way to go back to our hotel, I think. Pag tumawid kami doon sa kabila. So, itong side na to, sa may left side, this is Old Quarters. Ay, wala pa lang S. Old Quarter. Tapos yung kabilang side, pag tumawid kami, yun na yung One Kiam Lake area. Yun na yung kain namin yung first night. Ito naman third night to after our cruise. Balik old quarter kami and look at that. Pinakita ko kanina yung French Bistro. Maraming ganyan in old quarter. But we wanted to experience street eating like the Vietnamese. We're dining like locals. So, ano siya eh? Parang ang, ang baba ng upuan. Ayun yung legs to. What's behind us? The street! We ordered um, what's this? spinach soup. Morning Glory, fried rice, and vegetable spring roll. Vegetable spring roll. So we have soup, we have um, kang kong, I think Morning Glory. They call it Morning Glory. And fried rice and ito? Veg vegetarian spring roll. Vegetarian spring roll. When they serve in restaurants, they always serve it with lime. Salt, chili, and pepper. Medyo tapos na ako main. Busog na busog na ako. Yung favorite namin ni Jaja. Ito o. Oh. Itong ano. Morning Glory. Di ba Morning Glory sa Pilipinas? Muta. <laughs> Di ba? Pari! <laughs> Pero yun ang tawag nila dito. Kangkong. Kangkong siya sa atin. Ang sarap ng pagkaluto. Garlicky. Ito. Ito na siya. Um, marami na kami nakain kanin pero hindi pa rin siya ubos. Ang sarap nung cucumber tsaka nung pineapple dun sa rice. Medyo matabang so dinagdagan na lang namin ng salt. Tapos, ito yung spring roll. na lang eh. Kasi masarap siya. Pero medyo lumalambot. After a while, may nakain kami dun sa cruise ship na spring roll. Ang sarap. Hahanapin ko yun. Hahanapin ko yun. Tapos, soup. soup. Lasa siyang healthy. So, okay naman. Nagustuhan. O, oh, siya nagustuhan. Okay lang. Kasi masyado siyang healthy tasting for me. Naaaliw sila na nandito kami sa may gilid ng kali. I think, pihira yata yung turista or yung mga babae na nandito sa kali. Kasi mga kasama namin dito, mga manginginom. So, <laughs> hindi daw manginginom. Mga uncle na mga umiinom. <laughs> Tapos, I think, sa tuwa nila, in-interview nila si Jaja sa kami galing, anong pangalan daw niya, ganyan. Mamaya binigyan na kami ng beer. Tignan niyo yung picture namin. Super natuwa kami sa kanila kasi kalikod lang namin sila. Ang dami ng spring rolls so we offered to them and as thank you, they gave us beers. Ang sweet nila, they wanted to welcome us daw to their country. We love the locals in Vietnam. O di ba new friends in Vietnam? After dinner, lakad-lakad uli kami pabalik ng hotel namin. But before the hotel, Sabi namin, magko-coffee muna kami. Ito yung view namin pabalik ng hotel. Ganda-ganda nung lake. Uh, we went to Kalina Cafe for coffee and drinks. And I ordered this cafe latte. So, um, while in Vietnam, you should have Vietnam coffee. I'm really looking forward to trying the coffee with egg. We wanted to go to the train station. Kaya lang, um, there's so many people in the street. And when we booked the Grab, it took him like several minutes to get to us. Uh, actually, hindi na siya nakarating. So, kinansal na lang namin at nagkape kami in Kalina, which is where we were waiting for the Grab. And then, Jaja is getting blueberry yogurt chiller. Super yummy din daw nito. Kabalik lang namin from Nin Bin and dito kami nagpababa sa Train Street. The Train Street is a must-see here in Hanoi. You'll be surprised how colorful and bright the cafes are here. There's a trivia that it was closed in 2017 because the train had to abruptly stop because the tourists won't give way to the train. Yung cute kasi may mga lantern, lantern, tas ang dami-daming mga shops na pwedeng puntahan. Must si talaga tong train street here in Hanoi. Kasi kakaibang experience siya. Kasi diba, kunwari sa Pilipinas, yung mga release ng train, usually, mga bahay-bahay siya. Dito mga shops siya na cute! 
na parang kumbaga sa Singapore shop houses, nandito sila. Aside from mga cafes, meron din dito mga bar. Makikita nyo ang daming mga tourists actually na pumupunta dito. Mostly tourists more than mga locals. Tapos ang gawain ng mga tao dyan, dun sa gitna ng release ng tren, nagpapapicture sila. Pero yun, makikita mo dito meron din parlor, oh! What to do in the train station here at the old quarters area? You stay in the middle. Tapos magpapicture ka and then you try to eat... Um, Vietnamese food and have coffee. Meron daw dito yung coffee with egg in this area. So we're gonna look for a place to eat and sit down. We're a bit tired from our Nain Bin trip. It was a beautiful trip. And ang sarap lang na mag end yung trip namin ng dinner dito sa may train street. So tingnan natin kung saan tayo makahanap ng dinner for tonight. Yung naaliwa ko kasi first time ko lang talaga makakita ng totoong station ng tren, yung totoong reels ng tren. Kasi di ba sa Manila ang train natin ay MRT, LRT. Yun, nasakyan ko na yun. Pero yung train talaga na ganito, di ba meron ding area kung saan ka mag-aantay o mag-aabang. So, hindi pa ako nakatapak sa reels. Ngayon lang ako nakatapak sa reels ng tren. So, so, cute pa. May mga shop sa gilid. Cute! I love this experience. Hanap na kami nakakainan. So, magkakape lang muna kami at saka mag-permit Shelly. Pero mamaya baka hahanap pa kami ng kakainan. So, cozy naman dito na sa second floor kami. And yeah. Pero kita mo na yung mga restaurants sa kabilang side ng train. Marami pa rin mga restaurants at saka mga ito. Ito na ang famous Vietnamese egg coffee. Titikman na natin. Ito tako tako. Ano kayang lasa? tapang nung kape. Tapos, lasang-lasang mo yung egg actually. Medyo may lensa yung egg. Um, eh, it's not for me. Pero okay naman yung experience. Kasi ang alam ko dito, nagkaroon ng shortage yata of milk before in Vietnam. Nung unang-unang panahon pa ito. And then, parang as replacement, ginawa nila egg yung pinamalit nila. Kaya nagkaroon ng Vietnamese egg coffee. Masarap naman. It's very creamy. Pero siguro it's not for everyone kasi hindi ko talaga masyadong gusto yung taste no egg. Pero interesting. It's very interesting that I was able to try Vietnamese egg coffee here at the train street. According to Jaja, nung tinikman niya, para siyang ano, um, yung kumain ka tapos kumain ka ng balot penoy. Yung ganun yung hint ng lansa nung egg na malalasahan mo. Pero, mas sumarap nung minix ko. Kaya pala, they served it with kutsara. Ayan, minix mo pala siya pa ganun. Uh, mas, mas humalo yung tapang ng coffee. Mas naging less yung hint of the egg. And creamy. And yes, naging sobra siyang creamy. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay naman pala siya. Sorry naman to the spirit of the egg. <laughs> and to the Vietnamese um, nation that I said malansa ang Vietnamese coffee. Pero, okay naman pala. Ito naman vermicelli with egg. Mayan lang kami muna ng light kasi gusto pa namin mag-ikot mamaya and tumingin ng mas marami pang pagkain. Vermicelli in order namin. Sarap naman. Ma malasang malasa yung pagkaluto. Fried vermicelli with egg. Fried vermicelli with egg. Wow! Para siyang pansit bihon natin. Masarap siya. The next morning naman ay naghanap si Jaja ng isang magandang breakfast place in Hanoi. Lumabas to sa Google as one of the best breakfast places in Hanoi, Vietnam. And cafe. And pagdating namin, sobrang cute na cute kami sa kanya. Maliit lang yung cafe, hindi dyan yung kainan. Pa, may painting siya na ganyan, tingnan nyo. Pero pag dito sa labas, makikita mo, pwede kang kumain dyan sa street. Pero pwede ka rin umikot dun sa may gilid. Ang cute-cute nung gilid, I'll show you. Ayan, lakad tayo. Ayan, no, ang cute niya. Feel na feel mo itong alley na to na wala ka talaga sa Pilipinas, nasa ibang bansa ka, nasa Vietnam ka. So, pwede kang kumain dyan or pwede ka rin pumasok dun sa air-conditioned area inside. I'll show you how it looks like inside. Ito na. Yan, it's really cozy. Ang ganda niya. Dahil hindi kami naka-order na extra banh mi sa banh mi 25, yun ang in-order ko dito sa Ann Cafe, banh mi uli. Mas masarap yun sa banh mi 25. Masarap din to. Pero ano siya, um, 
parang feeling ko kulang siya sa mayonnaise at sa cheese. Unlike yung sa bad meat lady pepper. At saka ang sarap ng mushroom doon eh. Pero ito masarap din. Very eggy naman yung... Parang egg-centric yung taste nito. Bad meat na ito. Mm. Ay! Ang luto. Ang luto-luto. Mmm! At saka may chili to. Okay, let me take that back. Hindi naman siya mas masarap sa bad meat lady pepper. Pareho silang masarap pero in different ways. Pero for me, baka mas memorable doon yung sa bad meat lady pepper. Pero must try din to kasi ang ganda nung nung feel nung cafe. Tapos, masarap siya. At saka ang ganda nung presentation ng food in New York. This is how they serve the food. Super cute ng presentation. Look at that! May biscuit din nakasama yung coffee. Ang in-order ko ay uh, Vietnamese coffee with condensed milk um, na frap. Parang frap siya. Manalakan. Ang sarap. Grabe. Sobrang sarap. Matapang yung kape. Tapos tamang-tama yung tamis ng condensed milk. So, yeah. oh, so ayan, I'm already at the end of my trip here in Hanoi and the last stop that I decided to go to is this famous famous chocolate shop here in Vietnam called Mason Maru. Pagpasok mo dito, mouth-watering ang mga makikita mong chocolate. So, they have chocolate drinks, chocolate bars, and pwede mong iuwi yan sa family mo. Mga eclair, mga um, chocolate desserts, and ito, ikot ko kayo na mabilis. Ayan, meron pa silang machine na ganyan sa loob nung chocolateria na ito. And then, pag lumakad ka forward doon, makikita mo kung saan nila ginagawa yung chocolate in this area. So, merong feature si somebody feed, feed Phil sa Netflix na chocolate shop that he went to. Sobrang sarap daw nung chocolate. As in, kasi uh, in, Fre in France daw, parang magaling silang mag, ano, mag gumawa nung, nung mga chocolate drinks. Thank you! Thank you! They have a special process of making hot chocolate. Salamat ng mga may-ari nito, Maison Maruna. In Vietnam, ay nagpo-produce nga sila ng, ng cacao, ng cocoa. So, ayun. Um, kaya, naisip nila magtayo na itong Maison Maru, which is a, a, a specialty chocolate shop. Tapos, ang awesome niya. Kasi, tingnan nyo. Behind me, there is a roasted cacao bean machine. So, if you look at the machine, it's processing the chocolate. The cocoa beans, para mag-turn siya into chocolate. Um, ganyan yung nangyayari sa kanya. So, pinapasok dun sa taas na yon yung beans. Tapos, pinaprocess like that. Ayan. Tapos, after, ito na siya. That's what I ordered here. So, I ordered an eclair. I ordered this. Actually, this is for pasalubong to my baby. And then, this is my hot chocolate. So, they asked me what I wanted to have. Um, sabi na signature. Sabi ko, ano yung best ninyo? Sabi ko, um, I want to try your best. Sabi na signature maru or signature bold. Yung bold, matapang daw siya. So, tigman natin. Oh my God, grabe. Masarap! Super yummy! My partner said I cannot miss my zone maru kasi specialty ko, uh, chocolate shop siya, di ba? And I'm a chocolate lover. Kapag nagkikrave pa nga ako ng hot chocolate, nagpapahatid pa ako sa kanya sa Tagaytay kasi gusto ko magbago beans, ganyan. Tsaka iba't ibang mga hot chocolate shop doon. Iba siya, matapang siya. Tapos, may konting-konti lang siyang sugar. Eh, umuwi na si Jaja. Sayang. My friend went home na back to Singapore. So, hindi niya natikman. Hindi namin ito napuntahan earlier. Pero, ang sarap niya. Must try here in Hanoi. Then, yan. Nag-uwi ako ng pasalubong for my baby. And, I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Ganda-ganda pa ng restaurant nila. Sobrang relaxing. Kasi usually yung mga shops here in Hanoi, mga cafe nila, hindi air-conditioned. Or parang madalang na air-conditioned or very, very tight yung mga spaces. Ito, Maison Maru, ang laki niya, ang lawak niya, parang it seems to be a successful cafe here. 
try na natin yung eclair. Chocolate. Kumorder ako ng chocolate on chocolate naman. I don't care. <laughs> I'm on vacation. And this is the end of my vacation. So let's try it. Ang It's pure chocolate talaga. Parang... It's not that sweet. It's strong, but it's still so yummy. And the eclair is cold. Sarap. Una ako nag-book ng Hanoi. Sabi ko, wow, six days yung binuko. Kasi nila available and available flight. Dapat four days nga lang eh. So sabi ko, itli naman ito. Pero apparently, kulang na kulang yung six days here in Hanoi. Patapos na yung trip ko. Bukas ng umaga, alis na ako. So I had to miss several temples talaga. Marami na akong hindi nakita mga temple. Nadaanan ko lang pero hindi ko na napasok na pasok. Pero I cannot miss this temple of chocolate. <laughs> it is a must for any tourist to go to Maison Maru. Ang sarap ng chocolate. It's good to try the chocolate of each location, of each country. And this one I can say, sarap talaga. Enjoy ba kayo? That's just the start of our Hanoi trip. Kung ano na pang ginawa namin, like yung portrait na yan by the lake in One Kiam Lake. Itong Ninbe, nagbangka-bangka kami sa river. Itong prison, napuntahan ko rin. Papakita ko yan sa inyo. Itong water puppet show. Ang cute! Nakakatuwa siya talaga. Tapos itong cave. Nung nag-cruise kami, pumunta din kami dito sa magandang-magandang cave na to. Grabe, para kang nasa loob ng isang movie set talaga dito sa loob ng Surprise Cave in Halong Bay. And I will also show you my review of the Halong Bay Cruise, the overnight Halong Bay Cruise. Medyo pricey, pero worth it ba siya? Remember to like and subscribe here in How To's and Reviews by D so you can watch all of those videos. But for now, I hope you enjoy this video. Bye!